What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Challenges. We're on Season 10 as we speak. Season 10 because that actually fits with what we are doing as well because I think we're on the 2010 kind of lists of characters. I don't know because I just got rid of the list. But as always we do, if you don't know if you're just joining the series on Season 10 because I don't, I don't see why you should watch them all. I really don't. They're all the same to be honest. It's just the continuing series. That I've done where we actually play all of well I go through on this like I've got this database where you have all the Yu-Gi-Oh booster packs I go through all of those put them onto Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist I've been doing it on the Xbox One version I will be moving over to the Switch as soon as we're done with the Arc V stuff which could be another few seasons I don't know so what we do is we use I'm using the 2010 booster packs as we speak I think there's six that came out in 2010 or so as the database says which I'm only going to be doing six at a time. So if you like, say if there's eight, I'll do six. Save the other two for another season, and then continue it on afterwards. After that, which is a shorter season, but usually on average, um, it's been about eleven rounds. The past two have been past nineteen. So yeah, expect that. But a lot of it is brand new cards and stuff. So today, however, we are be using Absolute Power Force, which is mainly. I don't know. I can't really describe. A lot of Earth cards. I could say that. But without further ado, so what we do is go through each character. So today we've got Alito, Anna Kaboom, Kathy Catherine. We fight all these. I will beat one of these today. Probably most likely Kathy Catherine. Because that's how it usually works. I lose three. I try three duels. That's how it goes. If I lose all three, I do try and... I do end up using... Um, cheating Exodia to beat the final one. As like a little bonus episode. I don't usually do it as if I beat one already. If I don't, if I beat one, we don't use it. If I do beat one, I do use it because it's really easy to win with it and stuff. That's like Duelist Challenge, like one on one. Like it's probably one of the easiest games to get. It's like just unlock Duelist Challenges, play the game, unlock all these characters. You can easily win every duel with this battle with this booster pack. It's really easy, and you get achievement for doing it too. But anyway, Alito, you're the first of my victim because today we are using absolute power force, as I have already said. So let's get this shit over and done with. So we'll be using the first six booster packs from this little 2010. I'll be using my own cards, which I'll be using. I think there's three guaranteed, maybe four guaranteed to use from the game. Which is usually, we always use Gusto. Always. Always gets used. It's used like the final, final, final episode of the season. But whenever it comes. It wasn't like last time, but uh, forever. I think this is like the biggest deck I've had. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. Battling boxer, battling boxer glass jewel. Okay. So can I? Let's see what we can do. So Supe, I need this to bring out the moon. I think. Yes, yeah, because I've got the moon dragon in this one. Look, and whatever I can use to throw out there, you know. So I've got you in my hand. So I bring out one of my cards because it's quite powerful. But I've got a big boy today. I hope. I don't expect to win. If I do, it's quite shocking because <laughs> I never, t I never tend to win. But still, right. I need to see which one the stronger one is. He's a thousand. Wait, I want to wait a little bit more. Okay. So far it's Glass Joe, but I want to see what he's going to do. See, this is why I had to wait around. Because my shit would have been put, in, put on stop. Now I can do it. Yes, please. Phoenix Chain. And I'll stop you from attacking, my good sir. Still attack with that one, but that's okay. Can't do anything at the moment, but it's all good. I could uh, defend, which is great. Which is great. I was should have been done by now, but you know, people turn up and I can't record like I normally do, which really irritates me. Oh, you're gonna summon another one, aren't you? Well, there you go then. I defended myself, and there it goes the second one. Bomb. Or is it a different one this time? No, same one again. Okay. I've got monsters that can kill this. 
It just requires a little bit of force. See, I would be able to summon a monster now. <laughs> Ooh, very good. But no, I would have been able to win a battle. Because, um... If I, because I've got, got a reptilian card that actually requires two level zero monsters. I mean, two attack... Monsters at zero? I've got a lump on my face. Breathe. Okay, well, I'm going to bring out you because I need you in my hand. Just in case pull out another zero zero. Oh, no, not Regaiki. You knew what I was going to do, didn't you, little bitch? You knew what I was going to do. Okay. Well, uh, this doesn't like it's going down very well at all. <laughs> As always. Like, if I defend my Knight's Honor, I could actually win the long way around. Because it tends to happen that way. I've done it before. Whereas normally times I just get lucky. But not this time around. Sadly. I'm defending, which is quite nice. I'm defending. But... Again... I've not got anything that can help. Like, I've got this as a tuna card, which is great. But... Not enough. Like, you've got your strongest monster I've seen so far is 2,500, while mine is 2,600. But, my god. I think that's it, isn't it? Yes. That's only one challenge. Only one round for today, though. So just move on. Straight away. Let's go. Oh, it does. I've got some good cards in this deck. Like, I've seen some good cards on this game. Like, one of them's... Uh, a cannon. I don't know what the cannon does, but like the longer it stays on the field, the more powerful it is. So it's like, oh hey, this is the thing. So when you're like, oh, I'm just going to use this now, it's like, fuck. <laughs> That's deadly. <laughs> you know? It really is deadly. But, for sure, guy. Okay? Excuse the yawn. That's how it goes down. And I feel like we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go places. I want to beat one of these today. I don't like fighting Anna Kaboom because she's quite powerful. Like, great! I've got a good, good start and stuff. I don't have the ritual monster for, for that though. But again, I can start pulling some things out. Like, I can special summon this monster from anywhere on the field? Oh, I could have done it then because I had a zero monster. Oh, now I know this. That's pretty good. I also want you down just in case you pull something really powerful out. <laughs> but like I said, zero attack. That's all I need. Alright then. You destroy one of my good cards. You're a, you're a, you just fucked up. You just majorly fucked up. It's a level 10 monster. Like... D -d does she know how badly she's messed up? Her turn? Like... She's fucked up majorly. On this turn. Just to have, like, that powerful card. Because I can summon this monster now. Oh fuck. Unless this is Oh, this is the Rail Dread Rail Nort! Ah, Super Dread Nort Rail Cannon thinks I have this card. In a new new deck of mine, which might be coming out this season. Fuck. It's powerful. Okay, she's stopping me from using its cards, it's fine. I will admit it's a good tactic. Oh, you summon another one? Is it my turn yet? Right, I can pull my card out now. No, I can't. She's sacrificed it. Shit. This is nowhere near powerful enough. Like, hang on. All the face-up monsters on the field with defense less than or equal to this card. I'll just attack this card gains 100 attack for each monster to by this effect. Wait, what? So, destroy all the face-up monsters on the field with defense less than or equal to this card's attack. Fuck. 
So long ago it's 2700. To 2600, sorry. I mean, I can try it. Sure, I guess. I mean, I can just use you two. So we got this. Right? Yes. Or I can just bring this bad boy back out. Oh, it just brings it back to my hand, okay. If she destroys that, makes it 2600, but it's not strong enough. No. Damn it! Alright. Okay. We've had worse, we've had better days. We really have before. But, uh, yeah. I wish I could win better. But that's another 2000 down on the drain. And the Mecha Phantom Beast. God damn it. Oh dear. Right. Got no more zeros, have we? Not much. Face a monster on the field other than this card. Oh, oh say. I see. But yeah, I don't I don't see myself winning this at all. So, what's this doing? Well, I added the wrong card to my hand. <laughs> oh well, you're yeah, right. I should have built up the, the zeros. I wasn't paying attention much, to be honest. Like, I can use that. I can use the Mecha Phantom token cards because they're zeros. But you're using it way too fast. I've lost anyway. Like, I, I did, I had a good start. I think I could have done something with this. Could have gone somewhere with it. But sadly, this wasn't enough. I guess. Not enough. Oh, well. Yep. We're going to surround on that one. A loss is a loss in my eyes. There's no way we're going to win it, so, my, why, so what's the point in drawing it out? All right, I feel like this deck can win if I get the right amount of luck. If I get the right amount of luck, I can win this. But, I don't know. It's one of those things that just happen and can screw you over. I know the season one might be a Meteor Flare is a really good card. I say it was sending two cards from your hands to the graveyard. While your opponent has more than 3,000 life points, inflict 200, 2,000 damage to your opponent. If this card is in the graveyard, you can add it to your hand instead of under two normal draws. Like, has more than 3,000. Like, I could summon three of these and win. <laughs> it's that such a powerful card. Like, next turn, boom. 3,000 straight off the bat. Watch. Unless you've got, like, mystical space portal thing. Yeah. Like, Meteor Flare. Two cards. Boom. Sorted, son. Fucking sorted. Oh, you got Regai Keep. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it on that. That's fucking useless. Like, if you summon an XYZ monster... Well, that's a different matter. Oh, you're dealing 2,000 to me now. All right. See what I mean? Look at the draw. That flare is such a good card. It's unreal. How are we pulling out? Really? Is enemies? Zenmates? I should have done that. I should not have done that. <laughs> but now you know I've got it in my hand, kid. All right. I'm going to defend myself a little bit longer. There you go. Can't use effect on me now. Like, I can hope hope for the best that I pull out two more monsters and destroy it again. 
Oh, the little puppy's cute. So cute. Alright. Oh. Although all they need is two cards. It didn't say two monsters, did it? Two cards, yeah, that's all I need. Like one more turn, I can do some more damage, boy. <laughs> Powerful. Oh, fuck off. Alright then. Fine. Yeah, I get it. You're doing more damage to me now. Awesome, I guess. Okay, now I'm now I'm now I'm losing more health than what I'm giving. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Zen Mawaya. I thought I could have won this. Like, I got lucky. You know? I got very lucky. Like, I dealt half of the damage I normally do. Yup. <laughs> Unless you can stop it. This literally just requires to destroy it. Well, well. I've already tested it. So, it just tastes like onions. Uh, is it hot? Yeah. Hey, there's a bit of a kick. Can't drink it, it's too hot. It's too hot. It's thick as well. long enough. Okay. Have I lost? Yep. There you go then. Alright. Fine. Kathy Catherine's going to get knocked off my list by the way. This is how we do. If we lose and we still have time, which we do, why am I not just doing it like this? It should be at the top. No, it's, if we go by... Uh, go by alphabetical. There you go. Go by Yu-Gi-Oh! Chuching it. So it goes. Way too hot. Clyfort. I don't like the Clyforts. They're horrible. <laughs> oh, Clyfrofts! Ah! That demon's gym. I'm gonna win this. If I don't win the first duel, that's it. But I should just win first try. Like first and all five pieces. Let's go. I'll take the three out of the five. I just need to defend myself now. Which is a good a good start. It's a good strat. You know, it's there. Okay, first of all, set that down. I need only two more pieces, game. That's not one I want, but I can take it for defense. That's the better card to have, though. I've already got that leg, so I'll take the statue for next turn. Yes. All right. I could lose. Could lose this one easily because it's hard to deal with. Attack me, bitch! Attack me, bitch! I dare you! Oh, okay then. Hmm. Well, I thought that would have actually done something, but apparently not. Not even on the fucking battle phase again. Yep. You have Utopia. Why do you have Utopia? You've got wind-up cards. Why are you using Utopia? Alright, fine. Something tells me I've lost this duel. Unless I pull out some magic bullshit to pull out two Exodia pieces, I don't think I'm going to win this. What do you fucking do? Like, if you attack first, that's great. If you attack first, I get to defend myself a little bit longer. As anyone should. Even if you attack it. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Let's just get on with this game, please. This is the bonus round. By the way. I survived. Probably one of the deadliest attacks. Okay, but I'm pretty good. Can I win with this leg on the other one? Oh, got the leg. I got a leg. I can survive for a little bit longer. I can. I know I can. I've done it before. I could probably pull out a powerful monster too. 
<laughs> All I need is the arm. All I need is the left arm. Give me the left arm that I've won. Left arm? Left arm? No, nope, pot greed. I'll take it. Left arm. Potential. Damn it, graceful cherry! Left arm! Fuck! Uh, get rid of one of the legs. Get rid of one of the left arms. I can re- I'm going to regai key. There you go. Um, we'll save you for the rest. We'll play another graceful cherry. Left arm, please. Okay, I've got it. Alright, let's get rid of pot of duality. And we'll get rid of that. Show the five. Boom. <laughs> and that is how you win Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Challenges. <laughs> By using cheesy gig zone because it cheats. Now that would be a game uh, achievement as well. One of the easiest achievements in the game. It's the first achievement you probably get. Yeah, it is. Like you get that achievement, then you get an achievement for fusion summoning. You get an achievement for uh, synchro summoning. The black summoning. For what's called X Y Z summoning. If they remake, if like did an update to this game. They would have had the link and then we would have got a human for link conditioning. But oh well. But, either way, that is all there is for today with this video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Challenges Season 10, Round 1. Join us next week for Round 2. Don't get no outros in this season either because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! We don't, we don't do that shit. But either way, that is all there is going to be for today. And as always, this is Rick's Light signing out. <laughs>